Reloading is one of my favorite pastimes. I do it for sport, I do it for my hunting loads, and I do it mostly just for fun in the off season. Well, Hodgton makes a wide variety of powders. I've used a lot of them. I've got some varieties here that I use all the time. I've got one that I've never used yet, and I'm gonna tell you about it. But did you know that Hodgton also owns IMR and Winchester powders? IMR is super popular with 300 Blackout. I've used a lot of it. Well, in front of me, I've got an example of some powders. I've got Varget. I wouldn't use that in a 300 Blackout, but I wanted to show it to you because it's a rod powder. Obviously, it's a, a big, chunky powder. It takes up a lot of space. So I've got 10 grains and 20 grains. So I've got piles for each of these. I've got my H110. H110 is something that I've used a lot in 300 Blackout. Use it mostly for supersonic though, and I'll tell you why. I've got 10 and 20 grains there. And I've also got their new CFE, CFE Black. Well, it's made specifically for 300 Blackout. And you can see that the difference between all these piles when we get down to CFE Black, man, is it a fine ball powder. 10 grains and 20 grains. So why is that important? Well, the 300 Blackout, is a really small case. Now, the 300 Blackout with this 110 grain bullet, probably not a problem. For a supersonic load with CFE, I need 22 grains to get it going 2,300 feet per second. So this is 20 grains, so a couple more grains on top of that, that's not gonna be an issue in there. But what happens when we start sticking a bullet like this, a 208 or a 220 grain bullet into that casing and you can see how much casing that takes up. It almost turns it into like a nine millimeter cartridge casing. We can only fit so much powder in there. When I use H110, I can get 10 grains under that 208 grain bullet. The problem with H110 is for me, I couldn't get enough gas to run my gas gun. So if you intend to shoot your 300 blackout, in an AR-15 platform that runs off of gas, that's a consideration. Is it the gun that's not working or is it a combination of the gun, friction, and then maybe not having enough gas in the gun? When I use IMR, I know that I get enough gas and it runs subsonic in my AR-15. But that's a lot of guesswork and that's a lot of time that I spent and I'm sharing it with you. So now we've got CFE Black. CFE Black is designed to do it all, subsonic, supersonic, and it's going to fit in the casing. It's going to be easy to meter. It's going to be really fine. You can get those clear, concise measurements because when I'm trying to get something to run about 1,050 feet per second and CFE says it's actually like 11.2 grains to get it to 1050 for speed of travel, well, I wanna be able to get 10.2 grains and a nice fine ball powder like that is gonna be very easy to meter, to measure, and to get in that casing. Not to mention, a powder charge that small is gonna have plenty of room to fit inside that small 300 blackout casing. So, when you think about reloading, it's very important that you do your research. Look at the burn rates, look at comparable powders. When you look on Hodgden's chart, you're gonna see probably IMR4227, you're gonna see the CFE Black, and you're gonna see this H110 all in that same area of burn rate. And you can confirm that when you go to your loading manual and you'll see that, yes, this is an acceptable powder with this bullet weight in this casing. So look at reloading, think about what you're doing, and don't forget, Hodgdon Powders has everything you need.